All right, so tonight I'm gonna make a little bit of a different drink. It's a cucumber gin gimlet. So I'm gonna start with my shaker. I've gotten a few things ready in advance. So I'm gonna start with a tablespoon of finely chopped, I think finely chopped, uh, rosemary, fresh rosemary. I'm gonna toss that in. I'm actually making enough for a double. Um, I like a taller drink as opposed to a little drink. And then I'm gonna take eight thin slices of cucumber. And it's pretty thinly sliced. I probably could have done a little thinner. I'm gonna drop those in there. And the next thing I'm gonna need is some simple syrup and I'm gonna do two shots of simple syrup. All right. Last thing I'm gonna add is two tablespoons of lime juice. The recipe calls for, you know, juice of lime, um, but I'm not doing all that. Who has time to juice a lime these days? Actually, we probably all have time for it. All right, so I've got everything in there I need, and I'm going to muddle it, so you need a muddler for this. And you wanna be pressed down pretty hard with this muddler. You gotta really break into that cucumber to really get that flavor mixed in with the sugar and the lime and the rosemary. But if you really work at it, and that cucumber's not gonna make it into the drink, but you wanna get as much of the juice from it as you can. And you'll know when you're done, because it'll start to be less pressure when you're pushing in there. All right, so I think that's pretty good. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some ice to my shaker and my gin. So I'm using Bombay Sapphire. You can use whatever you like. You can actually use vodka for this drink as well. I mean, you can definitely do a vodka gimlet if you prefer that. I'm gonna do four shots. Remember, I'm making a double. Now I'm going to actually stir this drink instead of shake it. Did a little research. Um, I'm not a big gin person, but you actually want to stir gin. Um, we're gonna gently stir it for 30 seconds. Uh, if you shake it, a lot of times you can add extra aeration, which kind of affects the flavor of gin, which is something you definitely don't wanna do. So I'm just gonna stir it up for about 30 seconds here. Cutting this out so it doesn't matter. All right, so I've got that stirred up and I am going to strain it into my glass. Now in my glass here, I have a highball glass with some ice in it. I'm actually gonna put a slice of lime in there. Just give it a little extra flavor, mostly for looks though. And I'm gonna strain my drink in there. You can see the bits of rosemary going in there. It's a really good looking drink. And this is why I made a double because this glass is tall. All right, so I've got this drink here and I made, I went a little extra on the garnish this week. So on my pick here, I've got a long slice of cucumber. I used a vegetable peeler on and I rolled it up. And then I've got a wedge of lime here that I uh, rolled up, uh, cut the fruit out of it and just used the peel. Makes a nice little green uh, garnish. And then I've got a stem of rosemary. I'm just gonna kind of stick that in there. Just the presentation alone on that, it just looks really good. And we're gonna give it a taste, see how it tastes here. It is a very good drink. It's not too sweet, it's very refreshing. Promise if you make this drink for people, they will ask you to make it all night long. It's a lot of work to get done, but um, definitely a great drink for this week.